Welcome back everybody, and in our last episode we consolidated southern Poland, and we are no longer the Count of Tarnuf, we are the Duke of Lesser Poland, or to be more accurate, we are the High Chief of Lesser Poland. Right, let's look at our realm. Krakow, we, we'll move it to our realm capital, because it's a pretty important city is very happy with us, and um, we've just built that economic building. Um, we've got no other buildings on the go here, but we are increasing control in Sons and development in Tarnuf, because in order to embrace feudalism, we have to have a development level of greater, greater or equal to five, which actually isn't that much, so... Yeah, that's fine. What we have to do now is sort out our succession. We have two counties that will go to our other sons, which we can't really have. So I'm thinking one of our sons we will get rid of. Not nefariously, we'll either force them to take vows, disinherit them, or we may even marry them for an alliance, but marry them into a different family, a matrilineal match, which I don't think I'll do that, because that wasn't very common for the period. Not in Europe, anywhere. I can't think of anywhere that did it that way. So yeah, let's sort out our children. We have to marry them off for alliances. Jeez, she's nine years old and she's already scarred. What happened to you? And you're a bastard. Laugh has not been kind. Okay, what about you? You're a chieftainess. So you could potentially, my dynasty could be ruling this um, dynasty, you're a fornicator. You're 34, but it looks like you're, um, it looks like you've got dwarfism. Or maybe you're just really short. Can you wait for my 11-year-old? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna roll the dice. You know, this, this is, um, for my dynasty. My dynasty could rule in, um, Sophia. Okay, so let's do it. Matrilineal match. And that gets him out of my court. And I can disinherit him without um, feeling bad about it. So I'm thinking we'll actually do that. Disinherit. Costs 300 prestige. Ugh. He loses 75 opinion of me. But I have to do it. I have to do it. I can't have my realm split so much. We'll get that prestige back. We'll go on raid or something. <laughs> Alliance formed. Excellent. Now, I want to look at my neighbor because I might take over the spit. Okay, to the impressive high chief, Alexander of Lesser Poland. I've been corresponding with your chancellor, Svatplok, and I must say, I've come to see you in a new light. Well, thank you very much, king. King of Greater Moravia. Hmm. Call to war. Oh my word, you against the King of Moldova. Yeah, I'll join the... Yeah, I'll join the war on your side. What could it hurt? I don't think I'll commit troops to it yet, but I'll do it. Now, I'm thinking of going on raid. Despite our best efforts, you couldn't find a thing. Um, keep it up, please. Keep it up. Uh, what is the loot situation here? No loot. What about here? Any loot? No loot? See, all the places have been looted. Well and truly. There's no loot to be had anywhere. Um, here? There's three. Hardly worth it. I think the time for looting was 15, wow. Okay. Raise the raiding army, let's go a looting. A high chieftain to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before 
the mystic leaves for Har Chieftain Simovit's court, there is but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or doom? A bad omen. Let's give him a bad omen. He gained, had bad omen for ten years. Good. I have this murder plot. Wait, I really want him to find a... I want my secret keeper, what's his name? My, my spa master to find a, a secret on someone. I can't raid raiders because I'm at war. But he's almost one. Where is she? Okay, she's here and the war goal was there. I might just come and help out. Okay, raise army. Let's help out with this war. Take this. And while we add it, let's search for champions. Because we need some more. So we can do that if we go to... I can't invite champions. I'm missing prestige. Or well, by taking part in this war, it should help me out with that. I'm not being raided by. Darn it. They're taking seven. Ah... Can I turn you around? Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna take out these people. You know, it, it's about reputation. I can't just let them get away with raiding me. I'm gonna catch you. Efficient county tax plus 50. Amazing. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna cut you off. What, what other issues have I got? Children lack guardians. Right, let me do this. I can't have my children lacking my son alexander who is not a fan since i disinherited him dude you, you're gonna inherit a whole county don't worry and dude if my oldest turns out to be a disappointment i'll tag you in i'll tag you in no problem i'm, I'm gonna get this person and i'm gonna get his loot that's what i'm gonna do Uninvited. One of my agents has acquired a Viper. Should I use it? Uh, the scheme will be discovered. No. I can't. My spy master is useless. But I think I can bribe people to join. Can be convinced. Can I bribe you with 18 gold? And can I bribe you with 18? Wow. What about you, Henrik? Can I give you a bribe? You won't join. Okay, let's see. How much does it go up by? 11%. Wow. 51%. Okay, so let me focus on getting these raiders. These goddamn raiders, man. They should know better. They should know better. I'm going to be the king of Poland, man. The king of Poland. The first king of Poland. <laughs> That's what you get. Now let's go home with our money. 23 extra ducats? Not too shabby. And is the war still going on? Yes, it is. It doesn't look like we're doing so well. So I shall race over to the war goal because that's the kind of ally I am. And while we do that, let's build up our economy. Uh, it's a 49% chance that the scheme is discovered. 51. Should I roll the dice? Mm, for the sake of drama, let's do it. It seems to have been difficult to get some of it by himself, but once the assassin finally did, he was not long for this world. He's dead, and let's see what has become of the Pias lands. They're not as split up as I would have liked. Hmm. But he's a child. Do you want to marry one of my kids? My daughter, perhaps? How about that to you? You won't have- Why won't you have it? He does desire an alliance. Have too many existing alliances. Oh, well, I mean, okay, fuck you too. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want an alliance with that person anyway, I guess. Okay, what was I doing? So I need to go win the war for my ally here which i think should be fine they outnumber me is this a clever war to get into oh secret uncovered you learned of diana's lover secret is diana anyone no but she's not married and 
she could knit me an extra knot. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, stress. Should I confess my wrongdoings? I mean, am I a confessor? I'm trusting, so that, that makes sense. Okay, let's do a disturbing confession. We are going to win. We're going to beat them into submission. I'm going to finish the war that you could not. Don't worry, my friend. Do not worry at all. Even though you have more men than me, so, I mean, it could be a bad idea. But I don't think so. What? What do you have, bowmen and light footmen? Which is exactly what I have, really. Maybe I should wait for my ally. I think I should wait. You know, just to make sure. He, he has another 300 men. I think that's the safe bet. Okay, come on. Let's do it. No, no, no. You should... Okay, let's look at the army. How many champions do you have? You have one champion, and I have seven champions. I'm liking that fight. I think I could win. I think my champions are better, so I'll do it. Okay, this could be hairy. Ooh, yeah, this could go either way. But my champions seem to be carrying it. They seem to be carrying it. Victory. Victoire. Awesome. Let's go back and join the siege. The siege is... Four months left. And this, that is a raid. I want to stay clear of that army. Mm. You are useless. That's what you are. You. Oh, well, I don't need him to find a secret anymore. There. So where should we look for secrets? Hmm. Now, actually, I'm, I'm still going to target the Piasts because um, they're fun to mess with. I don't want them getting too powerful. Okay, let's finish this. My spouse has skilled up. Good stuff. Ooh, I'm hoping they don't come for us. I'm hoping they kind of turn. Oh, good. They have. Okay, we are days away from the siege and hopefully winning this war. But I must say, I'm getting a lot of prestige from it. So that's cool. 100%. We can go home. We can actually just disband. Disband. Good. So what do we get? Doesn't say. We deposed him. Okay, that was an independence war. Very good. So now we can go raiding. And where was it that I wanted to go raiding? It's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. They have a sizable army. More than I can muster at the moment. Um, they have about equal amount. So maybe I'll build up my forces just for a while. Okay, so the Piast, what are they doing? Not much. Not much. Okay, so there was kind of a bit of action. Bit of the old action, good stuff. I'm not endorsed by him, by her. She doesn't like me. Let's sway. I'm going to build another economic building, probably in Krakow. Gathering halls. That's more prestige. That's good. Yeah, okay. Gathering halls. Secret uncovered. Oh, yeah, right. I got, a, I got, a, I got a hook on lady who I want to bring to court. Not her. Her. Yeah, okay. Invite to court. You have to come. Ha ha ha. Okay. Now let's find your spouse. Stanislav. Ooh, 25. Russian. Yep, let's do it. And that's my daughter. My daughter. My daughter. Let's marry her off for a nice alliance. Yeah, let's do that. Can never have too many allies, I say. I've been doing a bit of research, right, and the people that actually inhabited Lesser Poland and the south of Poland 
were a tribe of people called the Vistulans. And the Vistulans were one tribe of the predecessors to the Polish people. Modern historians call them the Lectic people. There were a bunch of tribes that basically you can consider them modern day Polish. Um, now the Vistulans obviously got their name from the river, this river here, the Vistula River. Now an interesting quirk is that the Lectics were obviously part of the Slavic peoples, which is this general area. Now the legend is different between peoples, but there's a general myth that there were three brothers. There was Czech, there was Lek, and there was a Rus. Now, one day they went off hunting, and Rus went off east, and he came here and got lost, and he founded the Rus people. And Czech went further west, and he got lost somewhere here, hunting and he founded the Bohemians, modern day Czech people, hence the name. And Lek, he um, stayed in kind of Central Europe, went hunting and he was hunting an eagle and he hunted the eagle to this area here, Gnizno. And apparently the eagle flew atop a mountain and against the sky, Lek could see the sun behind the eagle and the eagle looked white against the red brightness of the sun. And that's where this coat of arms comes from, which became the coat of arms of Poland and it was actually adopted by the Piast dynasty as their standard because the Piast dynasty claimed descent from Lek, that brother. Indeed, all the Lectic peoples, which is what the um, original Polish peoples were called, claimed to be descent from this brother Lek, as the Rus claimed descent from Rus, and the Czechs claimed descent from Czech. Now, this is obviously an allegory, and, you know, it m these characters, Lek, Czech, and Rus, may or may not be actual historical characters. It may be half true, it may be just uh, um, an allegory, but it's interesting. Especially that the Piast dynasty kind of claimed that lineage. Because as I told you, I think in episode one, they settled in this area and built a fortress in this area of Nizno. This was the area where they ruled from originally. So it's interesting because they kind of associated the idea of the people with their dynasty, which is quite a clever tactic for ruling people. Quite evil genius. Anyway, I, I just wanted to share that. I've been doing some homework. So let's go back to our game. Um, Yad, he's, she's just arrived at court and we're marrying her off. <laughs> yes, thank you. And you will become my warrior. Because I have few champions. I always confuse these tabs here. I will force him to, and yeah, good. Now, how ha, have my forces built up again? Yes, they have. What are your forces here doing, sir? We are going to go a raiding because I need the prestige. I need that prestige, Razor Raiders. Good, and... Here. Oh. We're gonna take heavy casualties. And what is the army like here? Hmm. It may not be worth it. It may be. Can we go around? Is there a way we can go around? Kind of. Nope. 
see it's these mountains. But then if we go here and then go into here, it should be fun. We'll only lose... Yeah, we will only lose a hundred, two hundred men as opposed to three hundred, which is fun. And I've got that new champion, so it should be good. Raiden, let's go raiding, and we have that perk, which makes us um, raid quicker. So we got someone coming for us, and. It seems quite even, quite horrifyingly even, but we're pulling away. They have Pacman, that's the problem. Okay, so we will definitely go back, but we got 15, so I think that's good. We can unlock a new martial perk, and we shall do that immediately. Um, Let's unlock that perk. I can ransom someone for more money. Awesome. Awesome source. Um, okay, let's get you another perk. Hmm. Two perks available. How did I let that go? I got Overseer. Do I want Stalwart Leader? Reduces the risk of commanding armies. I don't plan to command armies, but eventually I get the trait um, Gallant, which gives me a lot of nice things. But this is more for my knight efficiency. And I got pretty good knights all. That seems pretty juicy. The Cassus Belly cost minus 50%. Yeah, let's do it. I think I'm in danger of going in another battle. But that's more prestige. That's good stuff. Now you've come of age. They grow up so fast. Good stuff. Am I winning? Yes, I'm winning. Please, let's go. Okay, they married. I think I'm still going to go a-raiding, I just want to build up a bit more, see who I can steal from. No loot here, empty council position. Luckily I have, I had a backup marshal, which is always good. 13 loot, I thought that was 15. I don't know where I lost the money. Are there any easy targets out there? Hmm. I want to go on one more good raid. And I want to... I want to declare war on this place and conquer a county. Now, let's look at my succession. I will lose two counties to this snotty little kid, and I am 47. So before I disinherit him or anything, I want to build up my prestige a bit more. I would rather use the money to build some more buildings. I'm thinking another gathering hall for more prestige, of course. Of course, of course. So let's disband our raiding army and get ready to invade Perimazel. Is it Peri Perimishal? And I'm going to build up development in Krakow. Shall we take a... Yeah, we should take a decision. Let us call a hunt while we're waiting. Okay, poachers here in the High Chieftain's Woods. 
They huddled together as I ride up with my gods, making a poor job of hiding the dead fox behind them. We did not do this. Your mercy. Their blades and bows belie their words. Sorry, it's like very early in the morning. Um, well, I am chaste, I'm deceitful, but I'm also trusting. So, hmm, you seem to be excellent bowmen. Okay, so I can get training. Let me do that. That seems like a good trade-off. Oh man, you are useless. Why can't you do anything? Okay, let me give you another target. Sorry, my spa master is just crap. So I'll return home invigorated with prestige. So... Let's put my spa master to work somewhere. Just find any secret. You know, at this point, I'll be impressed anywhere. Find secrets in Bohemia. See what you can get. Okay. So this guy has now become a new chieftain. He might be a problem. So I definitely want to get a bit more land here. So yeah, to cap off this episode, I'm going to grab this county. Next episode, I'm going to have to go to war with Lower Silesia. And I'm probably going to do it with the help of the Piasts. Let's make an alliance somehow. So maybe I can murder you? I'm thinking I should. Let's start a scheme. But that are, oh good, you're swayed now. And I can marry you off, hopefully, for better spa master. Oh, yes, Radimal. Can I get someone younger? Yes, I can. Hmm, now I'll go for Radimil. Let's marry you off. Excellent. Let's swap you out because, I mean, my current spa master is just useless. Hopefully you can find something. Okay, let's... Oh, good. Okay. We have 1,100 men. They have seven. Okay, let's do it. Let's declare war. I declare war on the conquer duchy. You have one ally. I didn't see that. You have 79 men. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, raise all armies. Do I have the best person in charge? Yes, I do. And let's gun for their capital. We're going to do it. Should we gun for their capital first, or should we um, seek out their army? Well, I mean, the county capital, obviously. Oh wow, they're behind the enemy lines here. They've got two big armies, so I don't want them to meet up. Maybe, should I call in an ally? Yeah, I should really, to be honest. No, don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. They're going deep, though. They're going deep. Okay, yeah, let's search. Let's get rid of the Mogyas. <laughs> the Mogyas? Hmm. Yeah, let's destroy this army. Oh, so. What are they doing? And how did you get so many armies? It says on here that your manpower... Okay, it's actually quite strong. It's stronger than mine. So there you go. So I do have to include one of my allies. I'll ask you. Call to all. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Good stuff. But I probably won't need you. I'm, I'm really chasing the scar. If I end up chasing armies around a lot, I might actually just edit to the final battle. 
Whoa! What do you have? What do you have? You have 94 men at arms, 300 light footmen, you have 6 champions. Okay, I have 8 champions, 100 bowmen, 100 men at arms. Hmm. I think I should avoid this army. It's a bit big. It's not a fight I would win. They grew up so fast. Yeah, that's not a fight I would win. But don't worry, that's why you got allies. That's what allies were made for. <laughs> they were made for bailing you out of bad situations. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So, yeah, we, we should seek out this army. Okay. They are like an idiot. They're gonna siege my ex um, capital. Yeah, they are. Tar now. Stupid. And now I'm gonna catch up with them. No, where? Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you going there? I need you to come here, you idiot. I can't. That's right. Good. Good. And good. Okay, let's attack. Okay, good. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Okay, and now let's go and take Pyramatial. No, you're useless too, Mr. Sparman. Crap. Come on. Come on. Mr. Sparman, won't you find me a secret? Find me a secret. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, let's do the siege five months. Okay. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening. After a long day of training, our tanker is knocked out of my hand by mercenary. Reeling from the blow and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along my side. Dude, you're a chief. Why are you in a local pub? Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Uh, wall, wall chicks thugs have been dr drinking me dry without paying. Why is this other chief in, like, a rival chieftain's drinking house? It's so random. I'll pay for the drinks if you leave at once. Now, I'm gonna throw him out. He shouldn't be here. Should I push her into a puddle? This is like a tawny trouble thing. I can push her into a... Tr a paddle? A drink always improves my mood. No. Um, no, I don't want her to lose. She becomes my rival. No, I don't want that. I've wasted enough time. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna engage. I'm not gonna engage with that nonsense. Hmm. Should I build another building? Don't have enough prestige, but I have another martial perk. For some reason, they're not showing up here. Okay, so let's get another martial perk. I will get organized march, good, and I will get um, engineering for siege. Good stuff. Now, this army is on the run, but for some reason, these guys are going after this count here, so it should be fine. Why is my war count going down? That's random. All the while, I've got this murder scheme going on. Okay, well, I'm 50% done. If I just destroy their army, it should be fine. I want to avoid this uh, big army here, but... That should be fine. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you and finish off this... Finish off this war, man. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So my war score's going up. This episode has been a bit longer. Probably an Edison will cut it down. I know so meta, I'm talking about the process. But yeah. 66%? How much fuck do you have left in you? Jeez. Oh no. No, no, no. The... My kill. My kill. Ugh. No man, what are you thinking? This is my kill. Okay, that, that was misguided. Now, now I am losing. Oh bother, 70% can I sue for peace? Force my demands? What? No, I don't want a white piece, please. Luckily that didn't really have any effect on my war score, which is great. Let's just build up. So that was humiliating, I lost the battle, but I still have more than my enemy. Rest for the weary, sweaty, tired, and in need of food, a longer of training. Okay, let me just see what this gives me. Higher morale for 10 years. Yes, I need that. Especially after that loss. Okay. Oh, please leave me alone. Kind of neutral, but antagonistic armies. God, I'm going to kill you. I'm just going to enjoy killing you. Pay a hunter to draw a map. Yeah, I have money. I can do that. Okay. Uh, I haven't been... I've been ignoring the scheme. So, let me work on the scheme. Things are happening fast. Let me invite people to kill this... Biatch. Sorry, you may not be a biatch. You may be a nice woman, but I need to get an alliance with this dude so we can gang up on this other bigger dude. That's what I need to do. Okay, good. Is this gonna give me some juicy war score? 86. I'll take it. Oh, my spy master Radomir approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a powder, most nefarious, if sprinkled the top of something. So, I give gold to this high chieftainess sprinkled with poison. Let's do it. So, will you acquiesce to my demands? No. You nearly will. But see, if this place is taken by this random army, I don't know why they are doing what they are doing. Oh, you have a war. <gasps> You'll piece up. Um, it's for Lupin. Okay. And Lupin, Lupin is where? Somewhere here. And that gave me higher war score. So that's great. What? Are you serious? No. No, you are not going to raid me amongst everything else. Oh my word, man. Oh my word. I'm telling you, man. Border gore. This is just border gore. <laughs> but it's fun. It's I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to act like it's not fun. You are raiding me, man. Keep it... No, we... Where are you guys going? Where are you bitches going? Oh my word. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. How many men do they have? And I'm pushing time for this episode, but I think it'll be worth it. No, I'm not losing that money, man. Yes, I'm winning. I'm winning comfortably. Because of my champions. See, I've got seven champions. Don't raid me, man. I'm going to be the king of Poland. Okay, good stuff. Now, let's go to our actual 57 loot. Oh, my word. And they're going to piece out my war score ticked up. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. Thank you, everybody. In this episode, we have expanded our borders, we've consolidated our economy and our succession by, uh, unfortunately disinheriting children. But, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. We are in thrilling shape. Thrilling? Hmm, okay. But we're in good shape. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and consider subscribing. Anyway, people, I'm out. Love you all. Thanks a lot.